very good game. I mean, uh, uh, we got the start that we wanted to. I was really, uh, really happy that we were coming out and executing well early. Uh, got a big goal from our fourth line. Uh, I thought our fourth line was tremendous tonight. And, um, you know, and in the third period, second period, we got on our heels a little bit, took a couple penalties. Um, you know, they gave us some pushback. Uh, you know, they, they uh, in the beginning of the third, we missed a hit, uh, and they, which gave them a four on two, and, and they executed on the rush. Uh, and I, you know, I really liked that. I liked this after that. I really liked uh, the way we uh, we responded. I thought we showed some good mental toughness. I thought we had some good pushback. I thought we had uh, some good chances there. And uh, you know, but one one in the third, it comes down to a bounce and. Uh, you know, they kind of got the uh, won the one on one battle around on that for the uh, for the game winner there. Questions at this time for the players. Scott in front. Uh, Scott White, my US Pelicans. Online, John on the game winner. Did you actually see that shot? It looks like Gilmore was really tightly on the man, and he managed to pull back and get off a pretty good one. Uh, well, it was it was kind of a. Bouncing puck, and I tracked it across, and then uh, I didn't. I saw it. It was just more kind of surprise. I, I didn't have my feet fully set, and um, the puck just died right as it got to a stick. And he got all the wood on it, and uh, I reacted as much as I could. More questions for the players? Any questions for Kyle? Uh, Joe, Joe, I apologize. I can just ask you. Coach talked about that second period. Like they didn't score, but they had the puck most of the period. You guys couldn't get much going. Was there anything that kind of sparked that, or were you guys just a little tentative? Uh, I, I think we spent a lot of time on the on the penalty kill there. We took a couple penalties, and uh, that that had a little bit to do with it. But you know, we just we kind of got away from our our four check a little bit, and um, you know, we just we didn't get enough pucks in that. I think in the second period. Andy in front. Andy Merritt for the New England Hockey Journal. Kyle, it's a tough question to answer right now, I know, but can you look back and, and look at what you um, what you guys built this year and, and your time at Providence and, and sort of be proud of how far this program has come these last four years? Yeah, it's um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a young group, but uh, you know, hopefully that uh, hopefully they picked up on some things um, this year and we'll take it in next year and. You know, the last couple of years have been uh, been unbelievable with Coach Lehman. Uh, you know, just seeing how far the program's come already. I think next year is, is going to be even better for these guys. Um, you know, with, with the group of young players that we have this year, they'll be moving up, they'll be sophomores next year, and uh, it should be a really exciting time for, for Providence Hockey. Any final questions for the players? Thank you very much, guys. You guys can go back to the locker room. More questions at this time for Coach Lehman. <coughs> Scott in front. Hey, Coach, you've got a one nothing lead going into the third period. You got the, the top goalie in the in the league right now, and you're personally undefeated as coach for Providence leading going into the third period at the time you've been here. Uh, are you thinking you're going to hang on to that one nothing lead, or are you how concerned with you given the goal putting on all the pressure in the second? I thought, I thought our third period was a pretty good period, actually. I mean, I don't have the shots in front of me, but um, uh, I, I would probably say that, uh, you know, we generated a lot more offense in the third than we did the second. So uh, I, thought, I thought we actually regrouped really well after the second period, uh, came out and, and played a really good third period. But, um, you know, two of their chances went in, and, and none of our chances went in. Uh, I, I really liked the way our team responded each time they scored. Um, you know, we pushed back at the right times. We had, you know, with the goalie pulled there, we had a number of chances as well. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, Scott Wilson makes a play. You know, that was a heck of a, that was a heck of a play. You know, and, and I watched it on tape afterwards. And uh, you know, I mean, he's a big time player, and, and he made a heck of a play, and in a one one game. Uh, so you know, I, I'm not disappointed with the third period we played. Uh, just two of their chances went in, you know. Andy in the front. Nate, Kyle talked about the young guys, and you started a bunch of four, uh, bunch of freshmen tonight. Um, and it seems like there's a pretty bright future for you. Got a guy in goal, you know, you can count on. 
Can you, at this point, talk a little bit about the transition, how much it helps that you've got a, a core of freshmen that are going to be there? I'll tell you this, I mean, and I told the guys this afterwards, I've, I've never pushed a team this hard. You know, and I've, uh, you know from, the, from the beginning of the year, uh, when we made the trip out to Miami of Ohio and, and we played the first game there and we kind of took it to them on their ice, um, you know, we saw that we, you know, was, we kind of saw the potential of our team. Um, and I grinded, the, you know, I, I kind of had a relentless uh, attitude with the guys this year and, and uh, it was just unfortunate that uh, it took us a little while to mature, you know, and I think I think that's what you saw in the second period. I thought we were just, you know, we got scrambly. Uh, we got a little uh, immature when you're playing this many young guys. And, uh, and a good team like Lowell was able to take advantage of it. But, um, you know, I mean, it, it's, uh, you, you can't really look into the future too much. I mean, the, the this league is going to be outstanding next year. I mean, Vermont doesn't lose anybody. Merrimack doesn't lose anybody. UMass, you know, they're going to be all seniors next year. Uh, so you know our job is is to is to keep improving right now. I mean, if we sit and, and pat ourselves on the back and think we're just going to automatically uh, be okay next year, that's we'll get smoked in this league. You know, to be quite honest, um, because everyone returns just about everything in this league, and it is, you know, as we learned this year, how tight it is down the stretch and how many good teams there are in this league. Um, you know. Yeah, we, we, we moved our program, you know, up a notch, uh, and, and you know we got base camp a little bit closer to the summit. Uh, but the bottom line in, in in this league, every year is a new year, every year is a grind, and, and it's it's a big time hockey league, and that's why I feel it's it's, uh, it's the best in the country. And I think you're gonna, you know, uh, I think you're gonna see that in the national tournament. Anything final for Coach Lou? There. Eric McHugh from Casey Twitter. Could you just talk about uh, the Rooneys, you know, one going and one sticking around for a while? Can't believe, uh, so proud of all the way our fourth line played tonight. Uh, they gave us energy, they scored the big goal uh, to get us going. Thought every time we uh, we put that line on the ice, positive things were happening. Um, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, Chris Rooney's a senior. He, he, uh, he hasn't played uh, in probably as many games as he wanted to this year, um, but uh, but he played great hockey for us. So uh, it was a tough year for him individually, you know, to try to understand that. And um, you look at his games down the stretch and what he did. He had a great game against BC. Yeah, you know, uh, the, when we played Lowell at home uh, for the regular season, there that line was our best line. They had the most chances, and then they showed up again tonight and. and uh, and played excellent. So, you know, I wrestled with the decision on the lineup for a long time, but you know, I was I was very proud of of the way that line played. And uh, you know, Kevin brings a lot of speed. He brings a lot of energy. He wins battles. And Chris, you know, Chris has just got you know a huge heart. You know, and uh, and in games like this, you know, you need that heart. You need that energy. You need uh, you need some guys that are, are going to go out there and, and not be intimidated by the environment at all. And I thought Chris brought that tonight. Coach, thank you very much.